<laughs> Look at the little mouse. Hi, little mouse. Hi, little mouse. Today is a Sunday, so therefore it's shower day for the dog. Anyway, welcome back to another vlog on Tanish Vlog. I'm off to make an important purchase today. I guess this would do. I'll take two. I have no idea what today's vlog is gonna be about because today is one of those days where it's both a rest day and a work day. Oh, it's Debo's turn now. Hello. Oh. I'm sorry, T-Squad, this morning we don't have tea because this is not a morning, this is afternoon. I slept through the morning, I woke up at 12 something. So my mom is already making lunch and therefore no tea today, but we'll have to settle for the Milo Balls. I like Milo Balls. I don't mind Milo Balls. Today's one of those days that is both rest and also work in a sense that I'm not really going out there and doing huge tasking work but, but, I'm not just sitting at home doing nothing. I have a lot of simple stuff to do but there's a, a lot of it, like multiple stuff to do. So it's not like a huge task that I have to sit down and complete. It's more like small, small things but a lot of things. Therefore, that's why I feel like it's also rest but it's also work. It's not completely rest but it's not completely work. But I guess today's vlog is more like, hey, come on, hang out with me. It's your boy, Tanish type of vlog, right? Let's go. So the time is now 3.47, 3.48 p.m. I need to go give this camera to the girl Cheyenne. Remember the camera girl? I need to pass this back to her because she has, because it's her camera. I need to pass it back to her because it's her camera. So let's go. the camera now back home so I saw this good spot that I can go and get like good time lapses and I want to try and see if I can get good time lapses that's the spot park my car right here and then go up that staircase and take time lapse from there either looking in that direction or looking in that direction yes this is a brilliant place to get a time lapse home time is running and the work must be done so I'll see you guys in a while alright so today I still got some stuff left to do I need to like email a bunch of people I need to get some scheduling done for a shoot that is coming up we're shooting a video for Christmas on Wednesday so yeah I'll update you guys regarding that when the time comes but before that I just wanted to talk about something uh comments the comments most of the times the comments that I see on my videos or whatever is great it's amazing it feels good but that's not what I wanted to talk about today what I want to talk about is the bad ones the negative comments the shit comments the comments that piss the who's calling me right now Istash hi hi hello I'm talking to the audience the T-squats can I call you back in a while KK bye. So, I want to talk about the negative comments. Listen, you didn't like the video, you can say you didn't like the video in a nice way. You didn't have to be an asshole about it, like this video is shit. This video is absolute nonsense. But, but, these people are not wrong in commenting like that. It is also not wrong for me to get annoyed at it or pissed at it. Nobody can say you can't get annoyed or pissed at a negative comment. If it is your right to comment like that, it is my right to be annoyed or pissed. The only thing that matters is how I react to it. Like, do I attack you back or anything? There is always a nice way to say something even though it's a negative thing to say all right we'll come back to the whole negative comment thing that we were talking about in a while because right now starving is hell that's hot 
So how do I deal with negative comments? See, I have a very simple way of dealing with negative comments and I feel like not many people actually do this even though it's simple as hell. And I thought of sharing with you guys because maybe you can take it up and you can deal with negative comments the same way because it really helps me and if it helps you then that's great. The first thing that I do when I see a comment that pisses me off or that affects me or that annoys me or frustrates me or just ah right? What I do is I try not to reply or comment or react to it immediately. I let it be. Then I come back to it like the next day or something if I come across it again I'll see whether does it still piss me off? Does it still annoy me? Most of the time it doesn't anymore. I don't really give a shit about it. But sometimes I come back to the comment later on and it still pisses me off. It still annoys me. Then what do I do? I'll tell you guys after the short commercial break of me drinking tea. Now back to the program. So when I come back to the comment and it still pisses me off, I can either reply to it and argue with that person. Oh, here's the genius part. I can delete that comment. Going beyond deleting that comment, I can block that person. Or in YouTube, I can hide them from ever commenting on my channel ever again. Now you might be thinking, Tanish, if you delete someone's comment or if you block them, doesn't it mean that they win? Listen up, listen up, okay? Let me spew some wisdom, okay? There's nothing about them winning or etc. It's all about you making sure your day is not ruined. It's all about you making sure you don't see these shitty comments from this shitty person anymore. These people have the rights to comment about something and you have the rights to delete it. Before this, I didn't really care if there was like 100 good comments and like 25 bad comments. I honestly didn't care. But right now, since I started daily vlogging and etc, etc, I'm really feeling the sense of community with you guys, the whole T-Squad thing and everything, right? And when that happens, I don't want any sort of negative negativity within this community. I don't want any sort of hate or you know those kind of things within us. I wanted to always keep it positive. I wanted to always keep it fun. I wanted to always keep it constructive and, and pleasant, right? Now I'm not saying you can't say my video is not good, but do it in a nice way. I can go on and on about this. I think I probably had. If you handle things like this, negative comments, hate comments and etc. Try dealing with it like that. Remove what you don't want to see. Block the person you don't want to comment or reply to your things, your pictures, your videos or whatever. And trust me, you would enjoy the entire social media experience. I hope this advice or this thought means something to you guys. I hope it helps some of you in any way possible. Alright? Alright, uh, enough talking. Me and my brother are going for a movie, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The movie is in about 20 minutes. <clears throat> so, let's go. White t-shirt and grey pants. Thank God for advertisements in the movies because our showtime is 8.50 and... We good, we good. It is a Sunday, so the mall is packed like a son of a bitch. Seriously, look at the number of people, man. All right, everyone pray with me that the concession stand is not full of people. It's not full of people. It's not full of people. You know? It's sort of full of people, but it's okay, not bad. I don't think so. We are like five minutes late for the movie because there was a queue at the entrance thing, which pissed me off so much. So Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse just ended and I fucking loved it. 10 out of 10. Yeah, exactly, 10 out of 10 for me as well. This was a good movie and I really loved how, I'm not really a comic book fan but I could see how they made it very comic book-ish. So right now we're sitting here waiting for the credits to finish because there's an after credit scene. So make sure you guys don't miss that, alright? Hey guys, alright, I'm back home and before I end this vlog today, I just want to remind you guys to please be nice in the comment sections, please be nice to anyone's comment sections. I just want to show you guys this comment to just say that's the type of warmth I want among us in this community, okay? You don't have to praise me, but just be nice to everyone, all of us. So this is the comment and let me read it out, okay? I've been following you quite a while now, I've watched all your vlogs before and kind of got sad that you went missing in action for some time. Glad you came back with daily vlogging, I just gave birth. Now this is the part that got me like, whoa. Ah, I'm touched. I just gave birth and my hormones are all over the place. Your vlogs somehow keep me sane. Good job and looking forward to more vlogs from your end. That's just a mother who just gave birth, who is watching my vlogs. That is something that I never expected. Thank you so much. I don't know what's your actual name, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. That really made me smile. That really made me feel all fuzzy and warm inside. So I hope this vlog makes your day as well and I hope all my vlogs continue making your day and I hope all my vlogs continue making all of your days. So I will see you guys same time, same place tomorrow on Sunday's Vlogs, all right? Now, I've seen the pictures. Let me tell y'all, Macha stepped up his game. Like really stepped up his game. I think it forces you to step up your game when you have to do it every day. In the same place.